How's it going guys? Welcome back to Brick Science. My name is Riley and today we're going to build a Lego snowboard and then we're going to take it out and test it. What's up dude? You ready to go to the slopes? Well yeah, but I have to build it first. Oh, that's right. Alright, well I'll leave you to it. And I'll be back. Okay. We're going to test that out, right? Yeah. That was Jaden. He's going to actually help me. He, he owns a real snowboard. I've never snowboarded before, so he's going to help me out on that. So make sure you stick to the end of the video to see how the snowboard works and if it actually compares to an actual snowboard. So the way that we're going to do this is super simple. We're going to take some giant Lego base plates. They're about, mm, you know, giant. We're going to take like three of those, lay them out, and we're going to flip them over so that the flat side is facing up, and we're going to put a bunch of tiles and slopes on the front, but tiles on the bottom. This way we can get some, you know, really, really whip. Also, I'm going to start this clock right back here. That'll tell us how long the build is actually going to take, and I'll stop it by hitting this button as soon as I'm finished. Let's do it. All right, so we'll start with two base plates. Actually, let's see if we can do four base plates, three base plates, and we can get one more, because we have one more. Okay, that looks like a decent sized snowboard. I think I've never used or owned a snowboard before. All right, I'm thinking some like that, and now we gotta lock it together with plates. So the plates, uh, I'm actually thinking about doing like a, a, a rail on the side, maybe that's dumb. So a great thing to have for this would be a rubber mallet. Alternatively, if you don't have a rubber mallet, you can use a hammer and a cloth, so to make this so it doesn't break, we need to go over all of the seams with pieces. And it doesn't matter what, what color these are because you're going to cover it up with tiles. All right, last piece for the plate layer, right here. All right, so now we need to put on some slopes and the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna organize these by color first so that it doesn't look trashy when we put it on. We're gonna actually take one layer off here. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Dang, can we just, there we go. And look at that, instead of putting it all hodgepodge, all over the place. We now have it to look actually good and not like trash. All right, and you, you might be wondering why the sides have a gap. That's a great question. Now, in case you guys are still curious what's happening, this is the bottom. So the slopes are gonna be towards the front. We're gonna, right now, we're gonna take some long plates and lock these together. So one layer across the very bottom, and then we're gonna offset the second layer so that everything locks together, not just some of it. Look at that. Now, we can start putting our tiles on. So for tiles, and I'll start with the colorful ones, for the main reason that I want to. All right, just put the last tile on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the hammer and the cloth and just... Okay, so I just realized why I left the sides open. And that is so we can take a bunch of these and put them on. These are, you know, slopes, so they'll, they'll slope. So that way, and then this way we can actually veer side to side, you know, kind of do it like a snowmobile. <sighs> snowmobile, a snowboard. Wow. Also, dang, that really tired me out. That was a lot of tiles to put on. <laughs> All right, and that side is looking really smooth, honestly. I think this will float pretty well, guys. But if it doesn't, it's gonna suck. All right, here we go. Dang, man. If this thing doesn't... It's gonna be sad, that's for sure. I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go test this. But before we do that, it is time for today's super special shout out. Today's super special shout out is CK Brick Vlogs. Thank you, CK Brick Vlogs, for watching my videos and commenting down below super shout out squad or hashtag SSS in the comment section on any of the videos. Guys, if you didn't know, if you comment super shout out squad in the comment section or anywhere, well, I guess it has to be in the comment section, you have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. So thank you, CK Brick Vlogs. I appreciate you. And I'm gonna hit the button right now. It took one hour, give or take three, four minutes. Now let's take this thing outside and see if it actually works at all. <laughs> let's do it. Stop walking on the track, you psychopath. You are that person. So I'm here with Jaden and he's a professional snowboarder. 
as in, you just got it last week, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he's still better than me. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna mark a line, and we're gonna time on camera which snowboard, or as I say, snowboard, will hit that line first. So we start when you when you come when you start going. So this thing slides really well. Dang, it slides better down here. Oh dang, oh dang. You know what, let's move it to here. <laughs> All right, so from the start of this line to that line right there, here we go. I'll go first and then you'll go after. All right, here we go. Oh dang, man. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> Redo. Let me, I just gotta get a full run. How many steps do you want? <laughs> All right, redo. Redo. Hold on, one, one last one. Here we go, I got a good feeling about this one. Mostly because I just put the track there. All right, here we go. Oh shoot. Oh dang. Hey, the, snow, the snowboard made it. Maybe I should just do it again. Hold on, one more time here. Go. Oh, stick. I don't want to run over the stick. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. So, small casualty. All right, so that was my time. Now Jaden's going to go, and he'll get as many attempts as I did to get it down to there. And we'll see who's actually better. Wow, so professional already. Here we go. Biffed farther than I did, so okay. I think you beat me. I just wanna try it one more time for fun. All right, one more try, but this time, I'm gonna go on my side. Here we go. <laughs> so clearly the re regular snow board, what's it called? Clearly the regular snowboard works better than the Lego one. However, I'm still gonna fire up the snowmobile to see if we can get some faster runs. Let's do that. Good job to Jaden for winning. Well deserved. I am the victor. Okay, so that did not work horribly. It actually wasn't too bad at all. This thing, it went uh, almost compared, like almost compared to the actual snowboard. Um, it went pretty good. I, I did just realize that this broke back here from something, probably when I set it down or something. But it actually worked pretty well. One of those last second additions I did was just add this so it curves up more. So I just had those slopes on there and it just really wasn't enough. Uh, big thanks to Jaden for actually helping me with, you know, seeing if it works. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, go click on another one because <laughs> just do. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, you know, it's super fun. It's always fun to have more people than just me. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. My name is Riley, this is Jaden and I'll talk to you in the next Brick Science.